Hey Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading, bringing you messages that want to come through between March 1st and 15th. It's not really date specific, I just let you know so you can find it on the channel. And uh, if you're new to the channel, by the way, welcome. I hope you will consider subscribing, liking and sharing. And for those who are returning, we had good response last week and better response the week before. So I'm trying to keep up with your comments and, you know, to get hints for the kind of content you want. So please keep that engagement coming. I do look at everything. I hope you see me commenting on your comments and liking your comments and hearting your comments. It's because I... As long as I can, I want to engage with my OGs, okay? And when you comment, obviously with love is preferred, I listen and I take my cues from you because we're in this together. So, for example, two weeks ago, we focused on the Divine Masculine, um, where they are in the connection. Last week, we looked at the connection itself, where you are, how you got here, where you're going. But there were people that felt, well, gee, I'm in total separation, like no communication at all. So what about me? So that's what this week's reading is about. I am speaking to you, Taurus, if you um, know who your divine counterpart is, but you're not in communication or very little communication. This could be a recent separation. It can be years of separation. Okay. Before I start, I want to pick cards just for you, Taurus, from the Enchanted Map. See if we can get any hints as to what's going on. Interesting. So we have intention, card 22. That's a sacred number. We do not, it's a master number. We don't reduce it. Intention in reverse. Card 35, education. Something you're here to learn, Taurus. And the last card is a magic prayer. Ooh, it also in reverse, that is a beautiful card. Card um, 32, three and two is five, so I'm feeling the energy of some shifting, some change. Let's look at that one first. 32, in reverse. So reverse, it says, self-will that goes unchecked can bring difficulties. Reverse, the magic prayer card is a sign that you mistakenly believe your way is the only one. <laughs> I love you, Taurus, but you, you do have a habit of <laughs> digging your heels in on the topic you're passionate about. Nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying this card has your number. Um, could the path you're on be leading you to a place of regret or could you be pursuing something that just isn't good for you? If so, you may be facing a painful lesson and a lonely one too. Perhaps it is time to pray and meditate on your highest good and the highest good of all. Spirit may have other plans for you. Be assured that they will be better than any you could ever dream of. So again, this is a little bit of, um, it's just like a hint toward what you might be dealing with. I don't think it's, completely about the connection, but it could be. We'll have to see. Education upright. Wisdom comes from participating in life, not just reading about it. <laughs> this card suggests that you might not have enough knowledge about what you seek, the direction to take, your circumstances, or the nature of your inquiry. Important information is coming. Now is the time to go to school, ask a person who might know more than you do, or find a teacher or a course of study so that you can more clearly understand what the next right action might be. Sometimes life unexpectedly sends you to an unfamiliar school and you must learn by experience. That seems kind of tied to that magic prayer card. Now is the time to be teachable, open to changing your preconceived notions, be a student, and be willing to state the most powerful mantra of all. I don't know yet. Love it. So yeah, easing up on having your heels dug in on a topic and being open and teachable. That's pretty straightforward for you, Taurus. And um, all of this, you know, when we think about connections, it makes sense because if we're in separation, that's a painful school of hard knocks right there. And we know that there's a reason for it, but we, if we get too bogged down in the details of it, if we get too sure of ourselves, we might miss the lesson. So I like this for you, Taurus. It's just, it's just a gentle reminder. 
Here we go. Card uh, 22, intention reversed. Are you clear about your intentions or are you in a foggy state of denial about your true motives and or ambitions? This is a time to step back and gain perspective and clarity about your direction. Check your motives and ask, oh wow, if they are sincere, are you pursuing some goal blindly without asking its cost? Good intentions are being misinterpreted. Now is a time for self-evaluation and self-nurturing. You will benefit greatly if you take time out to regroup. So, okay, so check your intentions, be open and teachable, and kind of don't proceed with your heels dug in on a topic if you're looking for the wisdom of the situation. That took a while. Before I start pulling tarot, I just want to say if this doesn't feel like it's your reading, Taurus, you can check out the video in this series that aligns with your rising sign as well because that's the face we show to the world and how people perceive us um the moon can help and so can venus but when you're in separation i feel it's more about the energy you're putting off um and them too them too so you can be a cross watcher and watch their video as well you might get uh, for their sun sign or rising sign you might get hints there so I'm just trying to provide options for people who don't feel that this is speaking their storyline because I'm just reading a general reading for the collective and I'm pulling in the strongest energies. Masculine showing up here in the two of wands energy, looking out at the paths before them, preparing to make a choice. Feminine, this feminine energy came out for Aries too, I believe. Um, Ten of wands laying a burden down. Interesting how your energies are showing up how the masculine sees this connection it's a lot of work and they're being very patient about it seven of pentacles waiting for something to grow waiting for something to to happen organically that indicates a payoff of the work they put in how the feminine sees this connection yeah there's some sort of a toxic connection here the feminine may see this as um more karmic this is a card of capricorn so you could be dealing with a capricorn here taurus um that's just possible sometimes they just show up in in, in the reading but if you're not dealing with a capricorn this just this uh, to me it just feels that there is a very heavy karmic pull that the feminine feels about the connection and maybe that's what's being laid down here. Energy of the connection, fresh start, page of pentacles. Fresh start may be on the path for you. In the extended, I'll use this deck to pull a card for how the masculine sees the feminine. I mean, feels about the feminine, how the feminine feels about the masculine. We're looking at the feelings in the extended. Uh, along with the blocks or challenge to love in this connection, as well as action steps or advice for, from spirit, and then outcome and timing. If the timing was going to show up, it would show up there in that last card. So let's clarify. All right. Two of Wands. It's masculine. thinking about their future, ready to take action on the future. There's a conflict, outside source of conflict, five of, they wanna communicate about it. There may have been some outside interference that may, we may find out what that is. Yes, they see you as the past life soulmate here. If you're the feminine, the masculine is wanting to communicate, desperately wanting to communicate with someone from their past past life soulmate if you're the feminine i feel this is about you if you're the masculine you're talking about the twin but there is some outside interference that's blocking the ability to make that choice to to go toward the feminine i really feel that's what i'm looking at here um taurus and you know who you are and if this is if this is what's happening um, if you're the masculine, you know, this is happening. Then this is this, that just told me everything you need to know that that's confirmation feminine laying down a burden here, 10 of wands. Hmm. 
Wow. I was going to say for the feminine, you could be dealing with a, a fire sign. And now we have the queen of wands shows up. Um, but it doesn't. Yeah, moving to calmer waters. This feels to me, I'm just going to say it as if the feminine has laid down the burden of this connection. I'm only saying that because devil energy for a specific group of you Taurus feminines and you have um, possibly met someone new. You're going after what you want. What do you want? This flame of passion. You're moving toward calmer water. So I, I'm feeling that I'm speaking to some Taurus feminines that have put down, right? We have the Ten of Wands. And what the Ten of Wands is, guys, is if you drop the zero, it resets to a what? To the ace. So I feel there's there's like a total reset happening here. And because of that, this feminine is, if this is you, Taurus, you're coming in as the energy of the Queen of Wands, very self-assured, very magnetic, very much in your power, very much not suffering any fools and going for what you want. And that is going to bring you some peace of mind. Swords is mental energy. Six of swords, peace, calm. No more drama. And underneath, transformation. So uh, something ha when you see the transformate the card of transformation, energy of Scorpio, it is about something dying off. Some energy has to die off before you can totally transform. And it may be with regard to this devil energy. I, I do want to look at that first. I know I'm kind of going out of order, but I'm being called to do it. Why is the devil energy here is how the feminine sees this connection. Mm. Underneath the deck. Cancerian energy wanting to move forward. So here's what I see. Devil energy, nine of wands, four of wands. I think the feminine feels a, like a, a pull to this connection that on some level may be impossible to ignore. I see this feminine wanting to move to calmer waters, wanting this transformation to come in as they lay down a burden. But guess what? How they see the connection is they're not, it's not over. It's not over. Why is it not over? Because they're dealing with the twin, four of wands. So, and then we get underneath the deck is the Cancerian energy in this, um, chariot so i do feel that the feminine is in an inner struggle <laughs> between feeling really a, a karmic tie or pull to this masculine not really giving up on the twin energy yet but wanting to move forward in new energy of the ace of wands so i think consciously the feminine has said, look, I'm out, I'm done, I'm moving on with my life. I'm moving to calmer waters. This crap's got to end. But unconsciously, how they see the connection is it's not over. Even if I want to move on, it's not over. And the masculine is wanting to communicate about some conflict here. Now I'm going to look at the connection. Energy of the Connection is a brand new start, Page of Pentacles. It is small, but it's grounded. It's stable. It's like starting from square one. Mm, a lot of options here. Ten of Swords, one more please. Got to work together. So I feel there's going to be an end to all the overwhelm on an emotional level. 
Um, the Ten of Swords, yeah, it can be the end. It's the end of a painful situation. It can, but because I see transformation here, and the Ten of Wands came out first, I feel that there's like an energy of the end of the painful drama of this connection and a fresh start where you both work together. So the hints toward reunion so far is the feminine wanting to move wanting to move forward, but we have the energy of also wanting to move on. And that's what we're competing with right now. But I think there's been in the connection, there's a fresh start that may be coming in um, an end to the drama and the two parties working together with spirit to um, create something brand new. Because this is a card of creativity, of creation, to create something brand new that has staying power because that is three of pentacles. Wow. Masculines being patient here. Now they see the connection is more of a waiting game. This can be going on for a long time, Taurus. Eight of Cups. Not yeah. So I feel that um, healing. I feel like the uh, masculine here is healing. This has been a long waiting game. After walking away or, or having someone walk away from the masculine, there's they've been fraught with anxiety. This is sleepless nights. This is running uh, the whole thing on a loop in their head over and over and over again. It is like the definition of insanity, right? So I feel that this masculine, how they feel about the connection is they're waiting it out. They're waiting it out. They're being patient. And they are in the energy of healing right now. Um as a result of having been left behind by the feminine. Oh my goodness, underneath the deck, interesting. Energy of Sagittarius, Knight of Wands. I feel like this masculine is ready to take action and come toward the feminine. And I feel like the feminine is saying, I'd like to move forward with the twin. Uh, I'm almost at my breaking point here, but I haven't yet quite given up on the connection. In real life here in the 3D, the feminine's like, I'm out. Uh, I want to move towards calmer waters. I'm standing in my power. I'm not suffering any fools. And I'm waiting for the transformation to occur. And the masculine is in, in the energy of I'm ready to make a move. I'm ready to choose the path, but there's outside interference. And they want to communicate with the twin about that. So some communication may be coming in for you here, Taurus, if you're the feminine from the masculine. If you're the masculine and you haven't taken that action, this might be your chance. Uh, I am going to take this to the extended. If you feel like this is speaking your storyline, the link to the extended should be in the first paragraph in the description box. I will see you there in a minute. Otherwise, I'll see you on a future reading. Take care, Taurus. Bye.